it's Berta J and you're back in my kitchen with me today. We are going to do something really interesting. Have you ever had a massage because your muscles were tight and you felt sore and you knew that a massage was going to make you feel better? And I can see the puzzled look on some of your faces saying, okay, Berta, what does this have to do with food? And why are you asking me about a massage? Well, today you're going to be the masseuse. And we are going to massage kale. Now, you're thinking, why in the world would I want to massage kale? It's a great leafy vegetable full of all kinds of vitamins and minerals and things for you that are excellent for your body. But some people don't like it because it tends to be a little bit tough. And so they cook it and then they say, well, I don't want to be bothered with that anymore. So they go for the ones that are a lot lighter and not so chewy and tough. But I'm going to tell you today, if you become the masseuse of kale, you're going to start liking it as much as you like spinach, if you like spinach. So the first thing we're going to do is you, you have to get rid of this very tough vein. And you can do it. This is the way I do it. I don't know if you've seen me do this before, but you hold on to the stem and then you just pull it and it comes out. Okay. And so now you have pieces that you can use. Well, I'm not going to use these because I've already washed and done the rest of the kale. So I'm just going to leave this guy over here. What you, what you do next, the next thing you do, I measured out, I broke it toward into smaller pieces and I'm going to dump it in here. Now you can't see it, but because kale puffs up, you're going to use about, I use about four cups. I'll show you how much that is. Okay. And I have bite-sized pieces like this or smaller. Now, the next thing is important. For all the research that I did, it seemed like every person who massaged kale put on a dressing now, and I'm going to do that. I made one. I'll tell you about that later. Not in this show, another one for the cookbook. So it always had something, always had like either lemon juice or vinegar in it, and they always put in a little salt. Then I'm going to pour on these three or four cups, about three tablespoons of this dressing. Now the work begins. Your work and my work begin as a masseuse to kale. So you just go in and you use your fingers to massage it using your fingertips or your whole hand. The thing you don't want to do is over massage it because what will happen with kale, if you over massage it, it will get kind of mushy and slimy and you don't want that. You want it to, to just soften. It isn't going to be as, it'll still be a little chewy, but it won't be tough. It'll be so pleasant. You will be surprised. I know I was. And I would say do it maybe, I don't want to give you a timetable, just to by feel. Like right now, it doesn't feel as hard as the one that I just ripped the, the, the stem out of. Remember, you always have to start with clean hands. And that's what I did, wash my hands before the show started. But now, after you've done all that, you want to go over and wash your hands, okay? Clean hands now. Your salad is really just about done. What we do, what you have to do now is I have all these toppings. Now these are toppings that I love and I put them on, I would say just about every salad. I don't know if you've ever had corn on your salad, but I had cooked some a couple days ago and it was, I had some leftover. So I thought I'd, I'd sprinkle on a few tablespoons of that. So I put on the corn, just any topping that you like. So this is red cabbage. That goes on. Now tomatoes. I'm doing, these are cherry tomatoes that I've cut into smaller pieces. Some of them are cut in quarters, some in half. Then I do a bunch of shredded carrot that goes on top. Okay, and the very last thing I put on, scallion or green onion. And now you're done. I just scrape everything else in too. And now you're just gonna toss it. Got 
I've tasted, right? I gotta prove to you this stuff is good. So I'm gonna get a little tomato, some red cabbage, a little corn and carrots. You guys who have been watching me for a while know that when I close my eyes, what I'm eating is really good. This is really good. Unless you're allergic to green leafy vegetables or kale, um, you've got to try this. With your massage kale, salad, you can have this for breakfast. When I first made it, that's what I did. And it will fill you up. Believe it or not, it will keep you full for a very long time. Drink a little water before you eat in the morning. It's really good. You want to throw in a little bit of lemon juice, you can. But just drink a glass of water and then have yourself a kale salad. You're good to go. And that's it. That's the end of the video. And I just thank you so much for joining me. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to click on the bell. So that every time Evan uploads a new video, you will get the notification. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up because that helps us. Don't forget to go to Wild Groves to get your 20% off your entire order. Dewey's waiting for your orders. He really likes these people here at Berta J. Okay? That's it. So until next time, bye for now.